Hello and welcome to the Two Franks and our review of Wayne, 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 Wayne. Is it pronounced Wayne or Wayne? Never mind. Welcome to the review of it. Uh, we played through it on stream today. I played through it again. Um, so I think I'm in a good position to review this game. Let me start off by talking about the gameplay now. Uh, I'm not going to give any spoilers whatsoever for the story, so don't worry about that. But the game basically starts off with no tutorials, uh, there's no text, there's no um, spoken, what is that called, spoken word in the entire game, so nothing's explained to you, and you're just put in this world, which you can see right now, this is the start of the game, and you have to explore and figure everything out yourself. And that's really, really nice. Uh, it's really intriguing. The world is really intriguing. You want to go uh, to every corner of it and, and explore stuff. And it never gets frustrating. It doesn't get frustrating in a way where you're like, ah, oh, shit, I don't know what I have to do. Why isn't there a tutorial? It's relatively easy to figure out. But uh, not. it's also not too easy. Like, it doesn't get served to you on a silver platter or whatever. Um, so that's really really fun. The flying is a bit awkward. Uh, you can, as you can see, you, you fly with a bird uh, around the desert. Uh, the flying is relatively awkward at the beginning. It, you, you can start, you can see it right now, like I'm trying to land on this thing and it doesn't really work. Sometimes it doesn't attach to, to latches and stuff like that. It's not really a problem, you get used to it. A bigger problem is the camera through the entire game. The camera is really bad sometimes and it clips through the floor, it clips through uh, walls, you sometimes can turn it where you want to, it is r really slow and you can change the sensitivity, uh, so that's kind of bad, but overall it's, it's really enjoyable gameplay uh, in the beginning. The second half does get progressively more linear in my opinion, like you don't have as much freedom where you go and what you do anymore. It gets more and more linear towards the end, it's completely linear and you can really uh, go off the beaten track at all. Which is a pity because m my favorite part is the first part where you can explore and you're, you know, you figure things out, you set your own pace. Um, but it does introduce new gameplay elements throughout the game. The gameplay changes, you have to do new things, uh, figure out new puzzles, um, environmental puzzles. Um, so that's really nice. There are, in the very end of the game, like the last 10-15 minutes, it gets really, really problematic because, well, it's a little glitchy sometimes, you clip through the floor, the climbing is kind of bad, which isn't a problem throughout the game, but in the end it gets, like, it, it got really frustrating for 10-15 minutes, it just wasn't fun, a small part, but nothing, nothing too bad. Um, the game was uh, finished, we finished it after 3 hours, which is short in my opinion, I expected it to be 6 at least. Uh, to be fair, you, it does have some replay value for the final chapter, which takes like 30, 30 minutes, because there are two endings, you don't have to play through the entire game, you just have to play through the final chapter to see the, the second ending. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really short. Other than that, the graphics are nice. I mean, you you can see what they look like. It's it's a really minimalistic uh, pol polygamous pol polygamist. Pol that's that's not the word, is it? Pol poly polygon? I think it's polygon. It's a really nice polygon style. Um, it's really minimalistic. It reminds me of Journey in the Desert. It's I, I mean I like the graphics. Um, it's not for everyone maybe, but I, I think it's pretty. The soundtrack is also good, but it does get really annoying sometimes when you are stuck uh, because it just keeps repeating and repeating and repeating and you're there for 20 minutes because you're an idiot and you can't figure it out um, so yeah that's that's a little annoying another uh, bad thing that I have had problems with is that you can't adjust your brightness there's no options in the menu for brightness or sound um, so you can't make the game a little brighter which for me sometimes it was very very dark so that's a little um, Bad. Uh, so, I also want to get to the story without spoiling anything, but I just didn't really find any value in the story at all. Um, 
it got more and more abstract the, the longer I played. Like, in the beginning, it was like, all right, I get this. I don't know what it's about, but I get it. And then you didn't really get any more explanations. You ju It just gets even more complicated, and you get even more questions. So, yeah, there's just no overlaying narrative or moral to the game. Like, there is, for example, in Journey, um, where it's about life and death and stuff like that. Uh, it's just... I don't know, the, the devs did say that you probably won't get it after the first time, but then you play it a second time and you figure new things out. I played it a second time, I didn't figure anything out. There was a second ending, uh, and it didn't, like, it didn't make me go, Oh, now I get it! I'm, I still have, n I have no clue what the story is about. Like, there's, I see no value in the story, and I don't think there is much value. Uh, I have no idea what it's about. So... In conclusion, I, I will give this game a, a score of 6 out of 10. Uh, it's very fun, especially in the beginning. It's it's fun to play. It doesn't have a story, so if you're looking for a story, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, there's not really any narrative or any story, so don't buy it if you're looking for that. Um, but it is the gameplay is fun, the exploring is fun. I would say it's definitely worth your time. Uh, you, you know, if you play this for three hours, four hours, you don't waste any time. It's definitely worth your time. I don't know if it's worth your money. Uh, I paid uh, 25 bucks for this, which is a little expensive for considering how short it is. And it isn't really, you know, it isn't really something that you must definitely play. Um, but it's fun. So, I mean, that's your decision if you want to spend that much money. If not, don't. Uh, but yeah, 6 out of 10, thanks for the game, to friend and foe studios, it's a, it was a fun experience, and make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the review.